Welcome back to my edit bay where we continue to explore the mystical arts of video editing and post-production with Final Cut Pro. Let's dive in today to one of my favorite features in Final Cut Pro, something that I use all the time, not only for some of my main channel vids that are more vlog style, but also for a lot of my member videos where I break down how I made a thumbnail or show time lapses of me working in my studio, things like that. Today we're gonna look at a timeline that is a vlog that I recently posted to my channel all about upgrading my Wi-Fi and home network system. But the feature that we're gonna talk about that was crucial to me making this exceptionally made video was the record voiceover feature that's built into Final Cut Pro. I love this feature and use it all the time. And I thought it was time for a tutorial where I went a little bit further into explaining how it works, some of the cool features that it has, how you can use your iPhone with it, so stay tuned for that, and uh, just show you how voiceover can be a useful tool in your video editing. So let's dive in and check this out. So this is my edit here in Final Cut Pro. You can see I'm talking to the camera, I'm vlogging, I've got Cody in here, we're doing all kinds of cool stuff with showing this Wi-Fi home network upgrade. This purple denotes my voiceover role that I set up using the voiceover feature built into Final Cut Pro. So let's dive in and show you exactly what I'm doing here with this video. So you can see I'm talking to camera right here. I'm just gonna play this back so you can get an idea how I used voiceover. So uh, we'll see what the test results are when we swap out to the Euro 6E. That'll be interesting. Sit down with me, Matthew. And Cody, we'll me, just hanging out. Here computer. comes the voiceover. Networking, so fun. So with most routers, you can use a website to access all the advanced settings on a router. With the Super boring, right? <laughs> Everybody's falling asleep. Who cares about advanced settings for a router? But this is a crucial tool in this type of vlog because I think not only does it tell a better story, but it keeps the viewer engaged because I'm essentially talking the entire time throughout the video and it lets the viewer stay hooked in. Now, the material can be a little boring like talking about a router, but regardless, I think this has definitely helped with the retention in my vlogs and it's helped increase the quality of a lot of my videos across the board. It's not something I used very often early on, but now now I'm using voiceover as much as possible. So how do you do it? How do you make a voiceover track? Well, let's just do this as an example here. Let's say I'm back to editing this and I know I wanna have a voiceover that plays over all this B-roll. All I need to do is hit Command Option 8 and the Record Voiceover dialog box will pop up. I can also access it up here under Window and then choose Record Voiceover from the drop-down menu. A third and really cool way to access things in Final Cut Pro is if you remember what it was called, but you're not sure what menu it's in, you can type in record voiceover and it pops up here and kind of tells you, oh yeah, that's where it is. Now you can access it, pull it up, and you're ready to go. Now there's a couple of things with the record voiceover menu. You can see here we've got a record button. You can see here my voice is causing this green audio levels meter to pop up and down. And we've got some input gain here that lets you tell how sensitive the microphone is. Now, my microphone is set to the studio display that's in front of me because this microphone that I normally use is recording audio directly into my C300 so we can make this video possible. Normally, I use this boom mic that's in my edit bay to record my voiceovers. You can see here that we have where we can name it. So this is called Eero Gateway. So I'm just gonna call it Eero Gateway again where I'm talking about that gateway. And then we have where we can choose what the input is, whether it's the system setting, my iPhone XS Max, which is currently upstairs, which is part of the cool thing I'm gonna show you in a little bit, my studio display, this is my XR18. This is what I normally have my audio input set to. A USB audio device, if you have something connected like a USB microphone, and then display audio. This is from one of my other Thunderbolt displays. Something else you can do with the record voiceover feature is you can turn monitoring on. So you can hear that echo, right? This is intended to be used with headphones. So if you have your AirPods Pro or you have some AirPods Max, you can put your headphones on and listen to the audio from your edit while you record a voiceover. Now, I don't normally do that because I'm usually doing it over a section that just has music and B-roll and I don't wanna hear the music while I'm recording the voiceover, but some of you might. So you would just turn monitoring on and then you can adjust the gain of that monitor so you can hear back whatever is in your timeline at a loud level or much quieter. This is an option to count down to record and you'll see that in a moment when I demonstrate recording audio. I like to have a countdown of three, two, 
one, we're recording before I start recording my voiceover. And then you can also mute the project while recording, which I like to do. I don't wanna hear anything from the project when I'm recording the voiceovers that I record. This last feature, create auditions from takes, I'm not gonna get into this one. I'll save that maybe for another video, but I will link to the Apple support article down in the description so you can explore that a little bit more. What you can essentially do is when you record different takes of voiceover, Final Cut Pro will automatically put that into an audition clip so that you can cycle through the different takes instead of seeing a bunch of different takes in your timeline. I don't like doing that because I'm using parts of a voiceover mixed with another part, and I like to have them all broken out so I can see all the different takes. Now this last thing in the record voiceover window is where you want your recorded voiceover media to go inside your Final Cut library. Now with my Final Cut Pro library template, I have all of these different events and I want my voiceover to go into the audio event. But I also wanna go one step further and create a custom role called voiceover that allows it to be assigned to the voiceover role so it appears as a different color in my timeline. And if I were doing any audio finishing, I could export just my voiceover track send that off to someone to get doctored up or whatever I need done and then bring it back into Final Cut. So normally when you're going to assign a role, you're not gonna see this voiceover role. So what you would do is you would choose edit roles and then you would add an audio role and you would call it voiceover. And we'll just call it voiceover two so it doesn't cause any issues. And then you can change the color. I use this purple color because visually it sticks out to me and it lets me know what my voiceover track is very easily. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this role though, and then hit apply, and we're good to go. So we can see here that we've got it going into the audio event under voiceover, and I've got it called Eero Gateway, um, and I'm gonna call this demo just so that we know what it is. So I think we're ready to record our voiceover. So what you wanna do is you wanna position your playhead where you want your voiceover recording to start. So I have the playhead right here at the beginning of this B-roll montage, and I'm gonna go ahead and press record. So I get my countdown. So what we're doing with this Eero gateway on the east side of the house is we're putting it over by the TV because we wanna get all of these different pieces of hardware that I have in my home theater, we wanna get them directly connected to that Eero portal. Then I'll go ahead and hit stop up there, or you can hit the space bar to stop your recording. And you can see here we've got our voiceover track that I just recorded. So let's play that back and have a listen. So what we're doing with this Eero gateway on the east side of the house is we're putting it over by the TV because we want to get a little quiet so I might bump the levels up a little bit. And of course I would normally do other post-processing. I would add a channel EQ, a compressor, a limiter, things like that. So that works out great. Now let's say you don't want to use your built-in studio display microphone and you don't have a fancy microphone like this one up here that I just made make a loud sound, sorry about that, or a USB microphone. All you have is your iPhone. Well, check this out. Over in your input options, you can have your microphone input be your iPhone. So watch this as I connect to it. Get a notification on your iPhone and ask you if you wanna pause your connection or disconnect, but we wanna keep it connected. You can see the levels on the record voiceover window are much fainter. Now the iPhone has several microphone inputs. There's one up here at the top, there's two down here at the bottom and there's one on the back and it gives you a nice stereo recording when you use it. I just usually hold it right in front of my face and go from there. So we're gonna record this again with the iPhone and I'm gonna rename this, I'm just gonna call this iPhone. And we're gonna do it again. So what we're doing with this Eero gateway is we're installing it over in my home theater system so that I can directly connect my television, my PlayStation, and all the different components in my home theater setup to the Eero. Now you can see the audio is really faint, but I'm gonna go ahead and mute this and I'm gonna boost the volume up quite a bit and it's still gonna be a little bit faint. So what we're doing with this Eero gateway is we're installing it over in my home theater system so that I can directly connect my television, my PlayStation, and all the different components in my home theater setup to the Eero. Now a little trick I might do to get that audio up even higher is to put this in a compound clip, call this iPhone VO, let's say. I'm gonna put it in the audio. And then I'm gonna raise it again by 12 and get it much louder. 
So what we're doing with this Eero gateway is we're installing it over in my home theater system so that I can directly connect my television, my PlayStation, and all. So, you know, not bad, a serviceable voiceover. So there are a number of different ways that you can use the record voiceover feature with Final Cut Pro. So let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or if this is a feature that you've been using a lot in your edits or if seeing this inspires you to include more voiceover in your videos. Again, I'll link to the Final Cut Pro user guide so you can read more about using auditions in your voiceovers, especially if you're recording voiceovers for a short film or narrative documentary and you're gonna have a voiceover artist do multiple takes. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep dropping that broccoli.